हेलो वेलकम नमस्ते वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल अकेडमिया सॉरी सिंस फ्यू डेज आई एम नॉट अपलोडिंग वीडियोस एंड टुडे आई एम हियर विथ सम प्रैक्टिस वीडियो सम प्रैक्टिस मॉडल यू कैन क्लियरली सी ओवर द स्क्रीन दिस इज अ ब्लॉग एंड I created two different blocks. This is a solid block, and uh, another one is a hollow block. Okay. You can clearly see that this is a hollow block. And what we are going to do? We are simply going to uh, create an analysis, create an analysis report, and we are going to analyze. with the same data with the same feed to these two different uh, blocks one is hollow and another is uh, solid but the similarities between these two will be like they both will be made of same metal and uh, let's choose iron block okay. so i am putting iron block now this hollow part is made of iron okay and uh, another one this solid part i am going to make it of iron as well so it will help to analyze things okay, to compare things if two different kind of structures are of same material and same dimension then what will be result okay so basically this is uh, you can say that uh, 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 almost a moderate type of analysis it will be a moderate type of analysis it can help you to Uh, crack an interview regarding CAD CAM analysis, FEA analysis, structural analysis It can be helpful to you. Okay, so let's start. Uh, I'm going to uh, retain the same boundary condition. Okay, in both scenarios. Okay, uh, first of all, I'm going to fix it. from one end then it is becoming a cantilever or hinge type now if i am fixing it in both ends. so these two are support column type and this is a b okay so two faces has been damped now what i am going to do is that i am going to distribute a force and you can clearly see that there is a different type of distributed force this is a distributed force this is a moment this is a bearing load okay so what i am going to calculate here is only distributed force okay so i am going to put 10 newton of load and this 10 newton is huge because this is a block around uh, 100 200 mm okay and this force is 10 newton per meter square so this this can be very huge okay so i am just putting it around 2 newton okay and minus n is because for the direction if i am going to uh, change the direction plus 2n and you can see here these arrows are uplift uplifted now okay upward now that is why i am putting it minus 2m okay so yeah this is it okay so simply after this distributed force we need to calculate it so i am calculating i am just clicking and computer is calculating it okay. this is it so what happened to this solid block this is a mess this is 
the mesh profile of this and you can clearly wherever you put the crusher you can get the values okay so these are the values and this this is happened with this iron block okay and this is it this is the displacement of it okay. so this is the basic thing displacement you can clearly see here this is the boundary zero to translational displacement has been occurred up to 1.16 e to the power minus point okay this is it and if we need to generate a report so we can also generate that report static case okay and you are i hope you can see here this is analysis one okay this is element type it has 2540 nodes and 1400 nodes connectivity to e10 this is creation stretch okay the quality of the block was 100 percent good there is no error 0, 0. 0. 0.00 percent poor 0, 0, 0. These, these these were the quality of the um, block i made okay so materials it it was made of iron and its young modulus is given here to 1.2 e to the power plus it. this is it this is poison show density of the block coefficient of thermal expansion it is here and it is the yield strength okay the figure one this figure one is about the structure computation okay and everything is mentioned here you can clearly see number of nodes number of elements number of uh, deformation okay and restraints compute computation this is these are the values okay and for load these are the values along different different axis fx fy fz and x m y m z okay and uh, stiffness computation singularity computation constraint computation factorized factorized computation and many things okay so these are the values which are going to ultimately these all data are going to put into a final product and this is very helpful for those who are in quality and it helps them to uh, differentiate okay so this was with the solid one and uh, if you want to save this you can save as per your convenience so now i'm going to create something for the, this one and for this i am going to put the same boundary condition so that we can clearly differentiate things okay. Okay. so this happens And uh, during this point selection, I would like to thank everyone who really appreciating my work and subscribing my channel, liking my videos and viewing it via different uh, mediums. Okay. And, uh, this is a very I think it will work in the same manner. I think so. So again, it was in a different plane, so I think it is. It will be much.
minus in the direction. And the basic thing, you must remember the plane. Yeah. So I'm just calculating it. It's a rare. This is the deformation. Okay. So it was, uh, you know, directed towards, uh, you know, tangentially or something like that. So the deformation is like this. This is translational displacement value. Okay. And now we can again go with the analysis. We can clearly differentiate these two, these data will be same, but the density will be different. And uh, structural computation will be different. These FX values will be different. FX, FY, FZ. Stiffness computation will be diff different. So yeah, this is the final report and I hope you must enjoy it and I hope you will practice in a better way because uh, in a video we all have limited sources and I can give you uh, information what I have but uh, I'm a professional but not a professional tutor or a coach. So I really don't know what you are looking for. So if you guys uh, please uh, comment in my comment in my comment box and ask me uh, what should I go for, what type of model should I design? Then definitely I will uh, try to complete that uh, challenge. Okay. Let's uh, strengthen the bond and you can see there is a thumbs up for you. Please press that and a subscribe button on the right side. I don't know where it is. If, if you will hit that, that will be a um, very kind gesture of yours. So I will really appreciate that. Thank you very much for coming here. I will definitely give you some more information regarding the idea and these all are for practice purpose only okay and this is an educational video so uh, if someone is uh, claiming that it is their design i don't mind because it can be happen okay? but uh, these examples are mine so uh, that this is it and this is an educational video more we educate the more we create okay so thank you very much thank you for coming